your honor and members of the jury, Keith and I are representing the state of Michigan. We intend to prove without a reasonable doubt that on July 8, 1987, Danny McGrew killed Barney Quill in cold blood. Danny McGrew had admitted to his friend that he had killed Mr. Quill. The defense will try to plead not guilty, but with all the evidence that has been compiled, it is obvious um, it is obvious that Mr. Quill is dead because of Mr. Drew's heartlessness. Some of the evidence shows this is that Mr. McGrew and Mr. McGrew admitted twice to police and friend Mert Johnson that he had killed Quill, and that Mr. McGrew himself had identified the murder weapon, as well as Lou Bauer and Mert Johnson, who had seen Mr. McGrew shoot Quill. Thank you. Is the defense ready? denigrated Danny B. McGrew, who is the defendant in this case. We intend to prove that Danny B. McGrew is, in fact, not guilty of murder. He did not intend to kill, harm, or cause any distress to Barney Quill whatsoever. He is only guilty of manslaughter, or the act of accidentally killing some, someone without the intent or planning to. Mr. McGrew was acting on self-defense. He knew that he was in danger. After Mr. Mr. Quill raised the bar stool in an intimidating and threatening way. Mr. Quill then proceeded to tell Mr. McGrew that he was going to wreck him. This, uh, keep in mind that this quote is being used in such a way to prove the fact that Danny was acting on self-defense. Keep in mind that the bar stool was about three feet or 36 inches tall. It was made of steel legs that were capable of bodily harm and murder. And that Mr. Quill intended to murder Danny by throwing the steel stool at him, which not which ultimately cracked the bar table. He then went to pick up another stool before he was shot. I am going to prove to you that on July 8, 1987, Danny McGrew did not intend to kill or bodily harm Bar Barney Quill, only accidentally, and then Bar Barney Quill initiated the conflict. Danny B. McGrew is only guilty of manslaughter, not murder. 